hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can use the dropship man app on shopify for your dropshipping business so basically dropship man is like a supplier base they give you access to winning product they give you access to trending product on shopify that you can import to your store then whenever you have an order you could also use the app to fulfill order automatically on the dropship man app so basically they give you access to winning product so you can easily import product from their platform to your shopify store then also fulfill order directly from your shopify store to dropship man so if you are also interested in print on demand you can also use the app to run your print on demand business on shopify so in today's video i'm going to walk you through exactly how you can use the dropship man app for your dropshipping business so this way you'll be able to automate most of the things you have to do on shopify with dropship man all right so if you are yet to create an account to them i'm going to add a link to them at the end of the video so once you click the link this is what you can see so what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on register so once you click on register it's going to prompt you to enter your email address here enter your password then we confirm the password so once you've done that what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on the create an account right? so i have an account to them already so i'm not going to create a new one so what i'm going to do is that is i'm going to come over here then click on login so i can log into my account all right so here i'm going to click on login so we can proceed so once you've logged in the next thing you want to do is you want to connect dropship man to your shopify store so to do this what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on this um, dashboard icon here then click on to my store so once you click on to my store is going to ask you to choose the type of store you want to connect to so if you want to be selling on shopify so just leave it at shopify and if you prefer woocommerce just choose woocommerce here but i'm going to leave it at shopify then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy my shopify url link then paste it here so let me quickly go over to shopify then show you how you can do this so what you want to do now is you want to come over here then click on settings here so when you click on settings you want to look for domains so when you click on domains you're going to see the url of your shopify store so this is the url of my shopify store so i'm going to copy this so this is what we need then we can now go back to dropship man then paste the url here now let me show you another method at which you can connect the two together so what you want to do is you want to go back to shopify here then come over here then click on apps so when you click on apps click on all recommended apps here so it's going to redirect you to the shopify app store so here you can search for dropship man then install it to your shopify store so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here then i'm going to search for dropship man so this is it so i'm going to click on it so i'm going to come over here then click on install so come over here then click on install again so as you can see we've successfully installed the dropship man app to our shopify store so this is your dashboard and where you can see how well you've been doing with dropship man so when you scroll down here you're going to see your order total here so you're going to see your sales you're going to see how much is costing you so far your profit profit you've made on the product you are selling with dropship man and if you have any unfulfilled orders this is where you can see them so when you scroll to the left hand side here you can see this sub so this is the paid plan they have so currently they have um two and uh, three basic plans so they have the plus plan which is 39 dollar per month the pro plan and the basic plan which is around 9.90 cent per month so when you come over to find product here so this is where you can actually see products that you can sell on your shopify store so the first one here is trending products so these are products that are trending currently so you can find them here and the second one here is winning products Product. so if you want winning product this is where you can find them and this is event product so event products are more like seasonal product for example if you want to sell products during christmas if you want to sell product during winter sales this is where you can actually find them so when you click on event product here yeah, it's going to bring out products that you can sell at different seasons so as you can see now these are christmas products here yeah? so you can just go through the product if you like any of the product or you want to know more about the product just click on it so when you click on the product it's going to bring out the product details so these are currently the variant for this product as you can see i think they have um one two three four five six seven eight nine so they have nine variant for this product and these are the sizes of the product so this is where you can actually um learn more about the product so they're going to be shipping the product from china and this is where they are shipping it to of course you're going to be selling to the us so this is where you are shipping it to so this is how much it's going to cost them to ship the product so total shipping fee is around eight dollar as you can see here and it's going to take an estimate of 10 to 16 days for them to ship the product so the actual product is going to cost you eight dollar 
and 60 cents here so if you like the product all you simply need to do is just come over here then click on add product to list all right so as you can see the product have just been added to my product list so what you want to do is you want to click on ok here so you can actually go back here and if you want to add product again from trending product or from winning product all you simply need to do is come back to find product here so here again you can come back to winning product then choose from the product that is available so once you are okay with any of the products you've seen here what you want to do is you want to come over to list product so whichever product you've added to list products you're going to find them here so from here you can actually adjust the product before you send them over to your shopify store so this is the title of the product so it also comes with a high tool that you can use to generate product description product title and the likes so this is the title so if you want to add a title all you simply need to do is just click on AI title optimization and it's going to optimize the title for you all right so this is the title so if you're okay with the title you can just leave it but if you don't like it just click on this button again and it's going to readjust the title for you all right so if you're okay just click on save and the next thing you want to do now is come over to um, description so when you click on description you can see the description of the product so you can also use the AI to add just the product description if you want so to do that all you need to do is come over here and then click on this AI button here and it's going to adjust the product description for you all right so this is it so if you are okay with it you can just click on save as usual then the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to variant here and adjust the variant before you send them to your shopify store so these are currently all the variants available so whichever of them you don't want to send to your store you can um, unselect them here and if you want to add everything to your Shopify store, just make sure everything is selected. Okay, so once you are okay with the variant, the next thing you want to do is come over to media here, then check the product image. So if everything is okay by you, what you want to do is you want to come over here, then click on select. So when you click on select, all you want to do is click on list product so when you click on list product it's going to send the product directly to your shopify store so from there you can now start selling the product and whenever you have an order you can just fulfill the order from your shopify store and, and everything is going to be sent to the job shipment supplier and they'll package the product then send to your customer on your behalf so when you click on list product here it's going to prompt you to choose if you want to continue to sell the product when the product is out of stock so if you want to do that you can click select here but if you don't want to do that unselect then click on done here all right so as you can see the product have been moved to my shopify store so to find the product you've listed what you want to do is you want to come over to listed here so here you're going to see product that you already sent to your shopify store so to find the product what you want to do is you want to come back to um, your shopify product here then click on products so these are currently the products i've sent to my shopify store so you can click on it to re edit it or change the price or whichever it is you want to do with the product and if you want to go back to drop shipment what you want to do is you want to come over to app section here then click on drop shipment so when you click on drop shipment it's going to redirect you to drop shipment and if you want to add more products you can also do that here so once you start selling and you want to check your orders what you want to do is you can also come to the other section here then click on orders so whenever you have an order your order is going to be here and you'll be able to fulfill the order here on the drop shipment app all right so this is basically how how you can use the drop shipment app for your shopify drop shipping so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe so you can get more videos like this all right so thanks for watching i will see you in the next one